changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration to make you simply happy. It's Thoughtful Thursday, and this Sunday is Father's Day, which is a day of mixed emotions for some people. Some of us have great relationships with our fathers. Some of us have fathers who have passed on. Some of us have fathers who aren't totally with us anymore because of dementia. And some of us have fathers who are living, but who just aren't part of our lives. And that's painful. I don't think that most fathers deliberately drift away from their children. I've known divorced dads who just didn't know what to do. I could see them struggling, not sure how to talk to their kids, doubting how important they really were, and then just backing away because they didn't know what else to do. They have no idea when they do that, that their kids really do want them in their lives and that their kids don't expect them to be perfect. They just want them to be present. So I want to share a story from Chicken Soup for the Soul, Thanks Dad, about one woman who picked up the phone and bridged that divide. Kirsten Gilmore starts her story by telling us that she was sitting on a cold floor trying to get up her courage to make a phone call but so far she had only been able to push three of the numbers. This wasn't the first time she had tried, but somehow she knew that this day she would succeed. She inhaled deeply, dialed the phone number, and exhaled. Even though all the photos had been tossed and all the physical evidence had been erased, that phone number was still etched in her mind. A familiar voice answered, and even though Kirsten was calling from 13 states away, His voice filled the space as if he were in the same room. He said hello twice before she could make her voice work. Hey, Dad, it's me, Kirsten. Without missing a beat, he responded, Well, hello, stranger, what's new? She couldn't believe he said that. They hadn't spoken for 14 years, and he was asking her, What's new? But he sounded just like himself and friendly, so... Kirsten pressed on. She hadn't seen him since sixth grade. She thought quickly. Should she tell him about middle school, high school, college, a year of law school, and eventually a master's degree? Should she tell him that she lived with her grandparents, then with an aunt and uncle, then with a roommate, and then alone? Should she tell him that she was with her mother, his wife, when she died? That she had been to four continents and had lived in five different states? That she had been married? and divorced. Kirsten didn't know where to start, how to cram all of that into an answer to such a casual question, hey, what's new? For years, she had said to herself that if she ever talked to her father again, she was going to tell him certain things. But now they seemed unimportant. She was just happy to talk to him. What's new, Dad? Kirsten said. Well, everything's new. And she went on to tell him that she was happy with her path in life and her job as a social worker. She told him that she seemed to have gotten his sense of humor and his creativity. And then she said, most importantly, I'm not angry anymore. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you call me, I'll answer. He talked about baseball, gave her a recipe she would never make, and said that he still had a box of pictures of her. The conversation flowed easily, and they laughed a lot, and they talked for an hour. And then when they were about to hang up, he surprised her. I love you, he said. Kirsten says, and just like that, I felt like someone's daughter. All it took was one little phone call. Thanks for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. Tomorrow, we'll be talking about fatherhood again, but this time with a very involved dad, James Breakwell, you may be one of his more than one and a half million followers on social media. He has four young daughters and a pig and a wicked sense of humor. I follow him on Twitter and he makes me burst out laughing several times a day. If you want a great book for your dad for Father's Day, then pick up a copy of Chicken Soup for the Soul, Thanks Dad, which is the book I mentioned today. You can find it at Barnes & Noble on Amazon and at your local independent bookstore.